I feel really genuinely quite nervous. <laughs> My knees feel quite shaky. And uh, yeah, I think it's just the sense of being underground. After more than a century, the city of David is closing a circle to one of the most famous and exciting excavations in the history of Jerusalem. Which is a big enigma, actually. The famous affair, which some claim was one of the inspirations behind the film Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark, took place in Jerusalem in the early 20th century, when a daring treasure hunter named Montague Parker came from England to Jerusalem to find the lost temple treasures. Together, with the mystic Walter Juvelius, who claimed that he would be able to identify the exact location of the Ark of the Covenant. The pair dug caves in the city of David and even bribed some of the Waqf guards on the Temple Mount to dig under one of the most sensitive areas in the world. After several nights of digging, one of the Waqf guards, who was not party to the secret deal, was startled when he heard noises rising from underneath him. The frightened guard hurried to call for help, causing the Parker delegation to flee the scene leaving buckets and other objects behind from their excavations. The affair garnered worldwide attention and was even published as a main headline in the New York Times. It's really amazing to see his bucket because it's such a like everyday object. And uh, I can't believe that that still exists here. And it's, it's funny because it's kind of like a messy leftover of their expedition. Olivia Parker, the granddaughter of Montague Parker's younger brother, arrived to visit these exact same caves in an attempt to trace back the steps of her iconic relative. Olivia walked through the depths of the earth in the city of David, filled with excitement. This bucket is what was left here specifically <laughs> from Parker's expedition digging here. That's He's, really amazing. It really is. Yeah, I'm just trying to picture what it would have felt like to be, you know, in these tunnels as him all the time knowing, not knowing what they were going to find next. Yeah, thinking a lot about how exciting it would have felt. Um, and clearly I'm not cut out to be an archaeologist because I feel very nervous. <laughs> but yeah, it's really, really exciting to see. The City of David, where it all began.